reference, I'm a 21-year-old male, and this took place around three years ago when I was 18. I had recently graduated high school and wanted to wait about a year before starting college, and so I took that year to just kick back, relax, prepare myself for the next step in life. I quickly got bored of doing nothing and decided to find a job for some spending money. I applied at a local supermarket, gas station, and dollar store. After not receiving any calls back from the dollar store and doing a pretty dismal job at the interview with the supermarket resulting in no callbacks, the gas station was my only hope, but luckily I got the job. I started off working second shift for a few days, but volunteered to take the overnight shift after someone had quit and after the manager felt I was ready to be on my own. The first two weeks go by well. I'm learning the ropes, and at some point where I can do everything with no supervision, I'm finally left alone. I learn all of my regular customers by name and whatnot, and things are going well. My first paycheck wasn't the greatest, but at least I was able to buy some things that I wanted. One night, I was mindlessly working, the easiest job ever, and not really paying attention to what was going on around me when the door chimed, signaling someone entering. I quickly had to run back over to the register, and by the time I got there, whoever had come in was already somewhere in the store, so I waited for them to approach the register. Up comes a tall Caucasian woman around six foot two, and quite thin. She was strikingly beautiful, dressed in an all-black leather and had really long curly black hair that went down past her shoulders. She looked like a half-biker chick, half-cowboy girl, given the top of her head had a black cowboy hat. I was taken back almost immediately. We, we exchanged greetings, and she introduced herself as Haley. I rang up her stuff, and then she asked for a can of Cocodike, chewing tobacco. So I grabbed one for her, and she gave me a toothy smile, which I was surprised to see were pearly white. There is no way a chewer would have such perfectly looking teeth, but perhaps it was just for somebody else, I thought. I was then caught off guard when she complimented how striking my eyes and nose were, which was something no one had really complimented on me before. Quite starstruck, I looked down for a moment and then complimented. Starstruck? Feeling quite starstruck, I looked down for a moment and then complimented on how good her attire looked, saying she really pulls off the biker cowboy look. She gave me the most goofy-looking smile, which was a little strange. She then giggled to herself and left shortly afterwards. So the next few nights she came in, bought the same things, and each time we exchanged compliments. I could tell something was a little off-kilter about her, though. Her eyes were always looking like she was zoning out into space. I coughed it up to being high, which I can't really judge because I'm not exactly the person to be shy away from an occasional joint or hits of the bong when I'm with friends. Things became strange about a month afterwards. She came in regularly for a while, and then maybe came in once a week at most. During the end of the month in question, she came in one evening, gave me some really weird looks, and left without buying anything, and then just stopped showing up. I must admit, I wasn't really all that creeped out or afraid of this woman because I was attracted to her. The male libido can be quite a powerful thing. But I began to think that she wasn't really all there, if you know what I mean. She didn't come by the store for a while until one evening when she came in and bought the same stuff she usually did. When I rang up her thing, she asked me if I was single, to which I said I was. I was never really the dating type of person. She left without another word. Fast forward about a week, Haley comes back into the store one evening and I'm about to ring up her things. She tells me that she has her wedding dress picked out. I was caught off guard by this and asked her who she was marrying as I placed her things in her bag. She giggled and said that we were getting married next week. My heart dropped and I stepped back a few feet after she grabbed the bag and left. I did a double take and slapped myself on the face before realizing that this was actually real and not a dream. This woman was serious. I was dumbfounded, had no idea how to respond to this. I stepped outside and watched Haley get into her red sedan and drive off into the night as I paced back and forth wondering just what on earth was going on with this woman. I had a feeling to look at my car, which I always kept parked along the side of the store. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary when I checked it. I didn't know why I had the feeling, but something was telling me to look at it. A few more days go by and Haley doesn't show up. I told my manager about this woman who was coming in and acting all strange and whatnot but my manager's only advice was to have the phone with me and to be prepared to call the authorities if something were to happen. That sure did put me at ease. Not. The following week, 
the week we were supposed to get married, I went outside to take out the trash and noticed that my side of my car was smashed as I was walking over to the dumpster. Great. Somebody probably stole my car radio and whatever I had put in there. I looked inside and was surprised, noticing that nothing was stolen. Glass was all over the floor of the driver's seat and I sighed before heading back inside. I had my manager look at the camera footage that morning to see who had smashed my window and sure enough, if it was a tall looking person with long hair that had come by, smashed my window before running off camera. Well at least I know that it was most likely Haley. My manager called the police who came in, checked the footage while I gave them her name and description and explained to them the strange encounters I had with her. I was surprised to learn that her name was in fact Haley and that she'd been arrested very early that morning after she smashed my window for public drunkenness and drug possession after she had been spotted walking down the center of the highway about two miles from away from the store. I decided to show a bit of mercy and not press charges since she was already in a bad situation with the drug possession and public drunkenness charges she was facing. I was glad she couldn't bother me again. I had my window replaced that afternoon and never saw Haley again. So my fiancé, let's not meet. This last let's not meet story actually has a documentary to go with it, which will be linked in the description below for anyone who wants to watch it before or after the story. I'm 18 male, and attend a gym regularly. I was walking through my own town center when a large black man, staring at his phone, wandered over into my path. I stopped walking to let him pass when he stopped and apologized. Sorry, I'm in a world of my own over here. I tell him not to worry about it, and he replies, You look like a big lad. Do you go to the gym? So I tell him yes, and that I'm on my way there now. He then explains that he used to compete as a bodybuilder and asks if I've ever thought about competing. I tell him I've never considered bodybuilding, but I do compete in powerlifting. He says in an almost threatening way, I respect that. I like it when somebody can manipulate a heavyweight, you know what I mean. He then asks me to tense my bicep. Although it's a bit of a weird request, it's not so weird that I didn't feel comfortable complying. So I tense my bicep and he asks, can... Can I have a feel? I was slightly weirded out, but said sure and gave him permission. He then asked what my best muscle group was. I said probably my legs, and he asked if I could have a feel. It didn't seem like there was any malice in it, or that he had any motive other than seeing how suited I'd be to bodybuilding, so I let him have a feel and told him that I have to go now because the gym is the opposite way, and we exchanged goodbyes and he seemed very normal other than touching me. I get to the gym and start telling a friend the story in the changing rooms. I got to the part about squeezing my bicep and he asked me, Is he big and black? I said yes and he says, Are you lying? Are you being 100% honest? I say yes and he says, Is it purple Aki? Who? I reply and he tells me to google his name and sure enough that's the guy. There's a BBC 3 documentary about him so I watch it and it's pretty creepy to know that I've had a run in with him.